Hello and welcome to Calagra Market, our daily program on Nifty, <coughs> Bank Nifty and USDNR. Um, we weren't li live yesterday, I was driving back from <coughs> my hometown in Kerala to Bangalore, so lost in traffic till pretty late night. Uh, anyway, uh, interesting new start to the week, interesting new stuff happening in Nifty. So without further ado, let's go right into Calagra Market. First of all, the Nifty chart. Now, Nifty from this chart at least could potentially have an upside till 17700 odd levels or maybe a little lesser depending on when it goes there but the item to watch is this chart so it is above 50 dma 100 dma 200 dma and the stock is the nifty is gapping up every day it's a very clean secular bull run and I think it can give you an upside all the way till this level that is number one which is not not this level forget the straight line because uh, and although it has some implications let's focus mostly on this top right and why do I think nifty is bullish for two reasons one of course whether I say it is bullish or not it is bullish and it is going to be going up up and away all the way uh, sorry is the uh, okay so you can hear it right <clears throat> right so second part is it is going to go up till this point in all probability so this line is also not real this was an old line we had drawn at some point so this is number one we can go all the way up to this level number two is the monthly chart of nifty if you look at the monthly chart of nifty this is what it looks like right what is this candlestick pattern called it's called a bullish engulfing and now we have opened above this thing now as long as we have a close this month above this close there is a high probability that nifty could go up further now whether uh, nifty will go to this level or to this level or to this level is unknown to us but the important point is that you don't short a bullish engulfing right we can't short a bullish engulfing so nifty chart is bullish nifty monthly time frame is bullish nifty shorter time frame is also bullish everything in the chart is indeed bullish now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty is also above uh, 200 dma and it has broken this trend line so we can expect <clears throat> some strong moment in bank nifty right and i don't foresee any uh, decrease in momentum for some time now now let's look at option chain right so let's write it down nifty is about 200 dma monthly candle is bullish engulfing chart is bullish buy your dips do not short do not short at this level right now 7200 is a new support of course no new resistances at all in this right 7200 17000 nothing much 7500 has a little bit of resistances 7500 is a main <clears throat> 7500 is a minor resistance not a major resistance minor resistance we'll see how it plays out but here's a catch right 1.5 is a little bit overbought so i think there is a possibility of a dip in nifty so rather than go long at this level i'll probably go long when it dips a little bit simply because in pcr right when pcr goes to 0 0.04 uh, 0 0.4 it's very low and there can be a bounce from there this 1.5 is an overheated pcr so there can be a little bit of a dip before it goes back further again right now that's the only negative thing about this entire analysis now if you look at uh, OI data this is crazy right because if you look at any other month normally it's always puts more than calls right look at July 2012 it's always puts more than call look at June 2012 
puts more than calls. Look at, uh, oh sorry, look at May 2012, puts more than call. Everything is puts more than call. But now in August 2022, we have more calls than puts, 2x almost. Uh, if you look at this date today, that is 1st of August, we have two times as many calls as puts. And if I bought calls, sold puts, bought stocks, bought futures, everything, every, everything. In fact, the only people who sold stocks is retail, as you can see. And last three days, FI has been strong buyers. So everything is pointing towards bullishness. So market is buy on dips till we find a reversal. Potential update, up, upside is still top of the channel, 7700 zones. What do I want to do? I would probably buy bull call spreads. Even buy calls make sense, but you have to be careful of where you enter it, right? Because um, with such an overheated market, such an overheated PCR, it can go up further. Of course, there's an RBI event also coming. But I have a feeling we might get to see the top of this channel being tested. Why? Because it's just 2% away, right? And market can easily do a 2% move. So this is my read on Nifty. This Bank Nifty read I've already shared. But I'll also share the one month chart. Look at month, month chart on Bank Nifty. It's again... A very strong bullish engulfing right and finally moving to usdnr usdnr has taken a plunge we were talking about this earlier about momentum slowing <clears throat> but after the fomc meet at least there's been very so i didn't have the guts to short but i was always talking about the trend is still up it's a buy on dip the question is where is the dip and how will you play it right so it's a little tricky. Um, I am not sure if I want to ride the momentum of this and short further. Probably I'll stay away from USD and now. See, zaruri nahi hai ki aap hamesha ek cheez pe trade karo. See, there was a point when we were not at all touching Nifty and we were only touching USD and our long every day, right? Now it's in a reversal trend and I don't know where to enter. If you had got it here, it was nice. You could have put a trailing stop loss and being happy. I don't know how to enter here. Probably you can do it. depending on intraday candles etc but i think usdinr is not an easy shot here because it's almost down a percent in the a percent plus almost two percent in the last three four sessions right but net net my read is that this is not a time to short this is a time to long but you have to be aware that you could be playing for the last leg of markets movement so i'm not saying that you should short I'm not saying that yaha pe ek dam se aake reverse karega. All I'm saying is that it can go up till here. And then after that, it might either go up or go down. We don't know. We are not predictors. We are reactors. But if you are going to go long, you have to play for this upside and nothing more. Again, whether you want to be long here till here or whether you want to wait a little bit till here, it depends on you. But once this 17700 odd zone or the top of the trend line is reached, you have to be careful about uh, what to do. Now, as uh, the third eye is saying, you don't uh, have to join all the parties, right? Uh, Kushan is saying, uh, YOLO see boys. But yeah, the point is this, right? Um, what you want to do from here depends on you. I won't do long futures. I would really love to play options for two reasons one there is very high momentum right so that last leg could be done in very fast pace so i'd probably do a call spread in fact i won't do this week's call spread i'll probably be interested in doing next week's call spread so i'll tell the trade what i am tempted to do of course i'm not carrying any positions right now so i gave around 30 40 percent of what i made back to the market and then i squared off I was just vacationing at home and i realized that it's probably not a good idea to you know trade at that point of time so uh, but let's see um if you're doing august 11th spread right you can do a 17 so market is right now at 17 600 sorry 17350 you can do a 17 600 ka call spread this gives you a nice risk reward of um nine like you know eight what almost double risk reward right you can even do it for the end of August or 18th of August. I mean, I'm basically saying that if there is a dip, then it helps you 
to take play long term options because in all probability yahan tak to jana hi hai to aise thoda dip karke jayega so if you think that this is going to consolidate here you can play a slightly longer term call spread so you might be wondering why would i not um do a put spread right now my answer to that is the vix is extremely low so look at this right let's look at a put sell of 17200 if you sell a 17200 put you'll only make 54 rupees right you see the problem there right you're playing a 17200 put only for 54 rupees the break even is just 1% so if market moves 2% even you're toasted right so and the iv on a 150 point out of the money put somewhere near so many events is only 17 so this is very low iv 54 rupees is not worth playing for i would probably not play this put in fact i won't even play 17 300 puts because it's only 3 quarters of a point but calls are more attractive buying calls here simply because of low iv level and um uh, how about a put calendar put calendar when interrupt kar sakte ho lekin fayda kya hai matlab ab karna kya chahte ho matlab what's your hypothesis so let's say that you are doing a calendar spread right uh hai kya apne paas acha nahi chuk ek second i'll just i'll just play out the calendar ir kyu karoge aap put calendar niche gaya to aapko matlab upside is very bad oh but you will probably be doing the other one right this i am supposing you will be doing this this is not a bad idea right put calendar spread makes sense but the only problem is if it goes down you have a risk of 4000 it's not a bad idea yeah uh, <coughs> preeti thanks for pointing it out this i think is a good strategy for this it's a uh, so you will you your max loss is around 4k your max profit is around 2k so you can do a put calendar spread 7300 put you can uh, by say but this is not a pure calendar right calendar you have to sell and buy the same strike so i'm guessing your put calendar spread would be this uh, so you're saying that you'll sell both uh, then up matlab why why settle on this right you can even do a straddle the point is uh, the risk reward on this is only 1 is to 1 and if you have a bullish bias why are you paying equally for both sides so probably i mean you can do this because you're pretty sure that yahan pe nahi rahega kahin na kahin to pakka jayega so yes calendar spreads are not a bad idea at all but i mean ultimately i i don't do calendars because it doesn't suit my style much but i could be wrong and calendar could be a great idea right but net net the point is this right the the big takeaway is that option buying makes sense here more than option selling for two reasons one is there is a lot of momentum right so whatever movement is happening it's happening very quickly so you won't have much theta decay agar aapne call liya sunday bhi aapne call liya hota friday ko bhi to bhi aapka paisa ban gaya bhi because one person move up happened right uh, whereas if you sell put even at a 1% dip you might end up losing money so it doesn't make sense right 1% dip to aaram se ho jayega bhi I mean, हो सकता है अभी बिकॉज इट हैज मूव अप सो मच इट कैन जस्ट टेक अ स्मॉल ब्रीदर एंड यूर पुट इज इन ट्रबल सो पुट आई प्रॉबली वुड नॉट रेकमेंड सेलिंग कॉल ऑल्सो आई वुड डेफिनेटली नॉट रेकमेंड सेलिंग बाइंग कॉल्स माइट मेक सेंस सिंपली बिकॉज आई वी इज अ वेरी चीप एंड काफी जल्दी आपका पैसा बनेगा इफ इट गोज अप एंड इफ यू आर अनकंफर्टेबल विद नेकेड बाई कॉल यू कैन ऑलवेज डू अ कॉल स्प्रेड दैट विल गिव यू अ वेरी डिसेंट रिस्क रिवॉर्ड रेशियो and you can play thoda aggressively also if you think market is going to ek dum se go up but it's not a option selling time simply because implied volatility is a very low vol is cheap so don't sell vol when <coughs> vol is cheap so this is our read on the market today we'll see you again tomorrow rbi policy coming big deal so please don't speculate on the policy because a lot of people um have uh, speculated on uh, the federal reserve event and i'm pretty sure except people who are uh, going well 
uh, it's not a uh, uh it might not go well <laughs> yogesh is saying i have 16 l in my account here i don't i don't have that much in my account these are all sensible account i mean this is that actually no i have i don't have that much money in my account i think i have pledged all my money as margins in liquid bees and uh okay so i'll just i'll just quickly show you one thing uh actually no which is screenshot paisa and all the colors not there but i'll tell you one thing whatever number you are seeing as margin available on my screen is not really money uh i think it's slightly uh, so what i do is i pledge g6 i pledge um, liquid bees and basically i don't have money money right so what i do is all my money is pledged as a combination of g6 t bill and t bill is not pledged of course liquid bees what it helps me to do is my money which is my margin helps me earn some 6 to 7% because of my g6 right and it, it there's no cash inside it uh, so uh, basically whatever you make over and above is is a bonus so this is just a cash component everything else is like in pledges so if you have some reasonable amount of uh, money uh in your account please consider pledging it because if you are pledging using liquid bees then you will get 3% extra interest on your pledge if you are pledging g6 you will get 6 to 7% sometimes even more than that on your pledge so please read up on pledging it's very simple you can go to uh, zeroda pledging there's an excel sheet they give a list of eligible securities so if you have a significant amount of money in your trading account please don't keep it as cash pledge it in government securities and try to earn 6 to 7% more i'll try to do a video on how i pledge and do all this very soon but anyway that's a different topic i think i've taken slightly more time than i should today so thanks again guys for joining uh, we'll see you again tomorrow so 